In today's video, we're gonna talk about the calm before the storm in regards to silver. It's been about a year of forced frugality, not a whole lot's going on, it's pretty peaceful right now, but as we get back on track, as the consumers get back to consuming, and as inflation starts to kick in, we're likely to see the spot price of silver really start to move. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. The spot price of silver and how right now it almost seems like it's the calm before the storm. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, you only have two days left to get yourself the luck has nothing to do with it t-shirt and hoodie. It's helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. So today I wanted to talk about a variety of different things all related to silver. Now I'd like to start out by talking about the spot price of silver and we'll go from there. At the time I'm recording this video, the spot price is currently $26.20. Who knows what it's going to be by the time I edit, post, or by the time you watch the video. Speaking of which, head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're watching and the current spot price of silver. So I also wanted to talk about how it almost seems like the calm before the storm. Because here we are, the middle of March of 2021. What happened almost a year ago today? The middle of March of 2020. That's when everything completely fell apart. And... Not just talking about the spot price of silver. I'm not even talking about precious metals at this point. I'm talking about the friggin' planet fell apart. Everything came to an abrupt halt. Everything stopped in its tracks. Jobs stopped. People stopped. Regular day-to-day -day activity stopped. Traveling stopped. Spending stopped. Selling stopped. Buying stopped. Everything stopped. Now, I know I don't need to state the obvious, but that was pretty detrimental to the economy. The entire economy stopped. And it wasn't just us. It was all around the world. The first three months of the 14-day lockdown, a lot of people were nervous. A lot of people were hesitant. A lot of people were fearful. A lot of people were cautious, rightfully so. Then the next three months, I think a lot of people started getting fed up. A lot of people became frustrated and impatient and annoyed because now we were going on three, four, five months of this 14-day lockdown. Give it another three months or so, people were really up in arms. People were really getting desperate. People were really starting to panic. People were running out of currency. A lot of people were having trouble paying rent. A lot of people were having trouble buying food. A lot of people were having trouble affording child care. It was a big disaster for everybody, regardless of your level of income. That's how you know things are bad. When even the rich people are beginning to struggle, that's how you know things are getting tough. But then if you give it another three months, which brings us to right around a year, pretty much where we're at right now for the last three months, I would say, it's been relatively calm. It's been relatively stagnant. I think a lot of people have become somewhat complacent, if that makes sense. I think a lot of people have started to begin getting comfortable with the way things are. I think a lot of people are accepting what's out of their control, what's out of their hands. So right now, when everything has been Pretty calm, to say the least. Nothing has been all too hectic. Nothing has been all too crazy. In fact, really the only insanity we've seen over the last three months had to do with the weather. But I wanted to talk about this today because it almost feels like what we're going through right now is the calm before the storm. And I read somewhere to train in the calm before the storm so that you will become in the storm. And that's exactly what I've been doing since day one of this 14-day lockdown. 
here we are coming up on 365 days into the 14-day lockdown. I wanted to talk about this today for a variety of different reasons. Because just because things are calm, things are quiet, not a whole lot of insanity is going on, not a whole lot of chaos, not a whole lot of yelling, screaming, arguing, not a whole lot of anything. It's been pretty calm, pretty quiet. Or so it appears, I should say. Now is not the time to get comfortable. Now is not the time to kick back. Now is not the time to relax. Now is the time to double down. Now is the time to really focus and work on strengthening your weaknesses and maintaining your strengths. You don't want to let your strengths become your weaknesses. You want to maintain them. You want to continue working on them. You want to keep them strong. And then as for your weaknesses, you're going to want to build those things up, whatever that may mean. If it's the silver, if it's the gold, if it's the preps, I talk about it all the time. I'll run through it really, really quick. There are four really important items that I purchased with my own money. I was not sponsored. I was not given them as gifts. I was not given a check to talk about them. But number one is the Berkey water filtration system. Two is the Nesco food dehydrator. Three is the Jackery Explorer 500 portable power station. And four is the Solo Stove Campfire portable fire pit cooking stove. All four will be linked in the description just in case anybody needs them. I know some people are already beginning to see their $1,400 stimulus checks pending their bank account. Just wanted to put that out there because with a $1,400 stimulus check, you could actually get all four of those products and still have cash left over. Excellent products in my opinion. But those are just some of the staples when it comes to prepping. There's a lot of different ways to prep. And when it comes to the silver and also the gold, this is a way of prepping as well. This is financial preparation. When it comes to prepping, there's so many different factors. There are so many different pillars. The silver and the gold, and even a little bit of cash. You're not financially prepared if you don't have a little bit of a cash position for short-term emergencies that would prevent you from being required to go run on over to the coin shop and liquidate. If you have a little bit of cash on hand, you don't have to worry about liquidating any of your silver or any of your gold. You already have the cash that you need. Granted, you might not have all the cash that you need, but at least you have something to help keep you afloat during short-term financial hardships. That's what the cash is for. The silver and the gold, that's for something completely different. The silver and the gold, that's for long-term financial hardships. The cash, this is for if something goes wrong, if all of a sudden you're income gets reduced or taken away altogether and now you're having a little bit of trouble paying certain bills or buying food or, or paying for some of the things that you need to pay for, that's what the cash is for. The silver and the gold, that's for something completely different. That's for years, decades down the road. That's to battle inflation. Completely different ballgame. Something completely different. But it's important to remember to train in the calm before the storm so that you will be calm in the storm. A lot of people who were preparing themselves before 2020, people kind of like myself who maybe you were prepping in 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, all the way back to God knows when. A lot of people had been preparing themselves for months, for years, potentially for decades. And then when March of 2020 happened and people were getting into MMA matches in the Walmart parking lot or choke slamming people in the aisle of the grocery store because they desperately needed cases of water or cases of toilet paper or canned goods or this or that or this or that, guess what people like me were doing when everything was crazy? when everything was completely out of control and people were going into almost like a state of hysteria, a state of panic almost, a state of insanity, guess what we were doing? We were at home or we were at work or we were doing whatever it is that we needed to do because we already had that stuff. We already stocked up on things months, years before anything went wrong. That's what people need to focus on. 
That's what people need to prioritize. That's what people need to cross off of their to-do list. You want to turn your to-do list into an already did it list. You want to make sure everything that you need, everything that you have to get, all the different ways that you're going to prepare yourself, you already have it. Or at least a portion of it because there's no way of ever being fully prepared you know, I've, I've had conversations with people over the years and they were telling me things along the lines of, Oh, I'm prepared. I'm ready for anything. I'm invincible. Nothing can stop me. And then boom, March of 2020 happens and they are the ones who are at the store getting in fights with people over certain products or, or they were lacking in certain areas because they weren't focused on building themselves a multifaceted preparation system. They weren't setting themselves up for success. They weren't making sure they had all of their bases covered. In fact, I don't know what in the world they were doing all that time walking around claiming to be prepared for anything. Point being is that if you think you're prepared, you're probably not prepared. It's not really like a goal to just buy something, purchase a product, or build something for yourself and all of a sudden you're bulletproof. It doesn't work that way. It's something that you have to keep up with. You need to be consistent. You need to be persistent. You need to be relentless when it comes to your preps. And it's not just the silver and the gold. The silver and the gold, of course, that's just one piece of the puzzle. Now back to the silver and gold really quick. The spot price of both metals haven't really done anything all too crazy. And my theory behind that is because right now we almost have a battle of inflation versus deflation. Yes, we've had an ungodly amount of dollar bills either printed or digitally created, which has been going on for several decades, but even more so over the last year. So when a lot of printing gets done, when more dollar bills are in circulation, when more dollar bills are created, it's pretty much inevitable that the price of essentially everything is going to be going up. Price of rent's going up, price of food's going up, price of clothes going up, price of everything is going to be going up. It's inflation. But deflation when nobody's doing any spending. In fact, the only thing that I've personally noticed going up in price, food at the grocery store, and not even very much, because food is really the only thing people can't cut back on. You gotta continue buying food. That's not really something that you can do without, such as going on vacation. You don't need to go on vacation. Buying a new car, you don't need to buy a new car if your current car runs fine don't need to go and buy new clothes if the clothes that you already own are perfectly okay. There's a lot of things that people cut back on. It was a year of forced frugality, and I don't believe that frugality is going to let up for quite a bit of time. I have a feeling even when we get back on track, even somewhat back on track, I think a lot of people are still going to continue to be frugal. I think a lot of people are going to continue to be hesitant. I think a lot of people are going to be financially cautious. I don't think people will be as reckless with their cash as they were pre-March of 2020. I could be wrong, by the way. Who knows? Maybe it'll be like Target opening their doors first thing in the morning on Black Friday and everybody rushes in and stomps on each other over TVs. Who knows? Maybe it'll just be something like that where people have just gone completely stir crazy for an entire year anxiously waiting to just burn through their cash who knows what's actually going to happen but point being is that right now when that craziness isn't going on when people aren't treating every day like black friday honestly it might sound a little bit ridiculous but that's personally what i'm considering to be the come before the storm before everybody goes absolutely bonkers when it comes to spending or if things take a turn for the worse who knows what's going to happen? I refuse to be that guy telling everybody, Oh, this is going to happen in six months, and this is going to happen in 18 months. I don't know. I'm not a psychic. I can't predict the future. And to be quite honest, I don't have a whole lot of respect for people who pretend to be able to predict the future. The people out there who say, Oh, I, I heard from God. God spoke to God. This is going to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, it's like, Oh, congratulations. You're a false prophet. I don't want to be one of those people. All I'm doing right now is initiating a conversation. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Does right now feel almost like the calm before the storm? Does it feel almost like a storm is coming, a storm is brewing, potentially later down the road, 
maybe sooner rather than later, maybe later rather than sooner. Who knows? But right now, it seems like a lot of people are calm. A lot of people are relaxed. A lot of people are chilling right now. They're, they're kicking back. Their feet are up. They got a nice cold root beer in their hand. They're watching their favorite show. They're not getting anything done. They're not staying healthy. They're not developing new skills. They're not out there starting a business to earn a little bit extra cash just to make sure they stay afloat if something were to go wrong with their job. A lot of people just aren't preparing themselves. They're not stacking the silver and the gold. They don't need to stack the silver and gold. In fact, it's probably better if they don't because more for us, am I right? But point being is that a lot of people just aren't preparing themselves right now. A lot of people seem to have this mentality where they're essentially saying, All right, we got that third stimulus coming. That means we're going back to normal starting as soon as that direct deposit hits. You know, because everything went back to normal after the first stimulus check, and it went back to normal after the second stimulus check. Didn't work back then, but it's 100% guaranteed gonna work this time. I don't need to prepare myself. I can kick back and relax and not worry about a thing. Those are the people who are going to get caught off guard. And I feel like a lot of people, potentially, in the silver and gold stacking community are falling victim to this as well. A lot of people are becoming relatively stagnant or complacent or, or relaxed, or taking a step back, like, yeah, I'm prepared enough. Now, if you think you're prepared enough and you don't want to prep any further, by all means, do things the way that you want to do things. But I refuse to not stay busy. I refuse to not stay productive. Again, the silver and the gold, that's just one piece of the multifaceted preparation system puzzle. There's other ways of prepping as well. And guess what? Being in good physical condition is also a form of prepping. I say this all the time. And now that the weather's getting nicer, I'm going to bring my home gym to the backyard. I'm going to start doing outdoor workouts again. Get some fresh air while I get myself in better shape. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on today's video topic? Do you think that as soon as inflation kicks in, silver and gold are really going to start to climb? Do you think right now kind of feels like the calm before the storm for the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the precious metals VIP club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you could hit the subscribe button like a Karen hits another Karen. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,900 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, please don't forget, you only have until St. Patrick's Day only two days left to get yourself the luck has nothing to do with it t-shirt and hoodie only available in the color green, and it's helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's Foundation, which is working to help children with cancer, which is obviously a beautiful thing. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, in regards to today's video topic, the calm before the storm. 
or a storm is coming, or training in the calm before the storm so you will become in the storm. When it comes to the silver and the gold, are you continuing to stack the silver and the gold? When it comes to the preps, are you continuing to prep? Are you continuing to stay busy, stay active, stay productive, stay healthy, and stay ready? Because guess what? If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.